Hey, what's up guys? It is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to another video guys and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new top video um, <laughs> Top video sounds a little bit weird, but basically I wanted to say like a brand new top 5 video But this is actually going to be a top 3 video uh, Not because it's too mainstream to make like a top 5 video But actually because I'm going to make a video where I give you guys uh, the best post-processing effects for unity and um, since I don't want to like add two extra just to like have a five uh, top five video and lie to you guys about the assets I decided that I would make a top three because I feel like these are the ones that are essential for me and they might be really really useful for you as well and that's why I'm making this video but anyway guys let us know in the comments down below what your top three assets or top five assets for that matter are for unity in terms of post-processing and uh, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So first and foremost, we have SSAO Pro. This is an asset that adds a ambient occlusion to your scenes. And the fact is that this is a very, very high quality asset that works really well with any project that you're creating. No matter if you're making a cartoon game, no matter if you're making a stylized game, or maybe even a AAA quality game. Uh, by that, I mean basically like a really high quality, visually high quality game. And um, this pretty much works with any scene. It's really, really flexible, meaning that it's not going to interfere with any other asset that you create or anything that you download through the uh, asset store, you know, let it be the internet or whatever. And um, it's just going to work perfectly fine unless it's, you know, bugged out or the version hasn't been updated for the current version of Unity, which it has been for the moment. So it shouldn't be a problem for you to use it. And the reason I feel like this is an essential post-processing effect for Unity is basically because the ambient occlusion that follows up on Unity, especially the new uh, post-processing stack, it's actually very, very good. So it's, it's, you know, working properly and it's not bugging out or anything. But if you really do want to have that like professional look to your game and have that fine little last touch to your product, you know, you, you want to go all out and um, you would like to check out the SSAO Pro IMO because I feel like this is the best uh, ambient occlusion asset that I have ever found so far. And I've been working on Unity for many, many years now. So I do feel like this is something that you should at least check out. And in my opinion, once again, it's an essential for Unity as soon as you come into visual quality. And next up, guys, we have an asset called Super Sampling SSAA. And this is basically an anti-aliasing script that is very, very high quality. I've been talking about this script for a few videos now. Uh, I made like a top five assets video for a while ago where I actually included this asset and that's because of the pure reason that I feel like this is an essential for Unity. Once again, as soon as it comes to visual quality, but also just generally having an asset that is owned by you on Unity because this is going to add such an amazing quality to your game. Uh, let it be the grasses, you know, it's going to make grasses look a lot better. I actually had a grass tutorial on my channel too and I did include super sampling SSAA and I recommended literally everyone on that video to actually purchase the asset or at least check it out because it's been improving so much in terms of visual quality. Uh, it really does add that little last touch to your game and it makes sure it makes also sure that the colors of your grass and such are much more viable and um, they're going to be a little bit more vibrant than what they do seem to be. And that's not because it's going to play around with the actual colors of the grass, but it's because it's going to make it look a lot more dense than what it actually might be. So without SSAA, it's going to look quite empty and it's not going to, you know, if you're using like an anti uh, or ambient occlusion, sorry, uh, for your game, for your scene, whatever you're creating, it's going to look a little bit empty and that's going to result in shadows being a little bit displaced. Not really displaced, but you know, just uh, in weird positions. And SSA is going to fix that by actually making your grass look so much more dense than what it is. And that is going to result into making ambient occlusions look a lot better on your scenes as well, because the shadows are going to find their right spots. And um, speaking of which, SSA also has a very good optimization. Uh, meaning that you're actually just a, it's literally just a simple slider that you're sliding through and um, you can basically select the quality that you want to use on SSAA. Uh, the recommended uh, value that I use is 1.4, which works really, really good on my computer, which is a, which runs on a GTX 950. Uh, I'm not going to get into specific details, but you can also ask me in the comments down below for my specs. I made a video about this for a while ago, but you know, uh, my updated specs pretty much. But basically, and I've also tried this on Intel HD 
2000, which my MacBook Pro has, and it's been working perfectly fine on it as well. Uh, you know, you can do some optimizing and um, you can do some quality testing pretty much and it's going to work really, really good in that area as well. And the main reason I think this is an essential for Unity as soon as you're playing around with quality and visual quality is simply because of the fact that Unity's anti-aliasing is really, really good. Once again, like the post-processing effects that are coming up with Unity, I can't blame them. They are very good, especially in 5.6 update. But once again, if you wanna have it a little bit more professional and really do take that extra step for your game's sake in terms of visual quality, this is an essential because it's going to play around with your grass. Well, not technically, but it's going to make your grass look a lot better. It's going to look. Uh, it's going to make your models look a lot better. Uh, those jaggy edges are going to be gone pretty much. It's going to eliminate almost everything that is jaggy and jizzly. So it's going to look a lot more smooth, and it's going to. It, also, one more unique thing that I found about Super Sampling SA is the fact that it's not going to blur out everything in your game just to make sure that the edges are gone or these jaggy edges are gone it's actually going to use a different technique uh, it's still going to blur it out but you're not gonna see that you know that blur effect that you see really strongly with other anti-aliasing scripts and finally guys we have an asset called amplify motion so a lot of people might have heard about this asset because this is being used by a lot of popular games created on unity such as the forest verdun and many others actually the list just goes on and on uh, so this is a pretty much popular asset. It's not like a secret asset that I that has been like hidden under uh, Unity's asset store. But basically, I wanted to list this up as well because I really do believe that this is one of the essential assets on Unity. Uh, once again, in my opinion. But once again, uh, this is also being appreciated by a lot of people and a lot of other developers. And I always, always use Amplify Motion in my scenes as well. And I do it with, you know, SSAO Pro and Super Sampling SSAO 2. And that's why I mainly believe that these are essentials because I always use them, uh, no matter what kind of scene I do. Even if I don't have like motion tracking or motion objects, I still use Amplify Motion because it really does add that little bit of blur, which looks natural, but at the same time, it's also technically advanced and it really makes your scenes look a lot more beautiful than what they actually are. And personally, this is the best motion blur I have ever found on the IC store. And once again, I've been an active user of Unity's for so many years now, an active developer, if I have to say so. And um, this is the best one that I have found so far in terms of how natural it is once again but also how good it looks on your scenes and how it doesn't really look that specific, but it also does make it sh make sure that it looks good and um, lets the player know that there is actually a motion blur effect, which isn't going to distract the player. So I have seen very few players on the force, etc., that turn off the motion blur. I usually turn off the motion blur in most of the games that I do play because I find them quite annoying sometimes because you want to make it a little bit like, like if you're playing on 60 FPS motion blur can, can be quite annoying to have but amplify motion I've never felt that effect either because it just makes the game look more realistic IMO uh, motion blur is an is a very good effect in its own but amplify motion takes it to a next level and these are pretty much my top three essential assets in terms of post-processing for unity let me know in the comments down below what you think of these assets and if you have your own essentials or if you have seen any you know assets that you would suggest me to check out i'm all ears and i would like to check them out and per perhaps even make a video about them soon so hit me and the community up in the comments down below guys we're, we're gonna be waiting for your replies and um, also leave a like on this video if you really did enjoy because it really supports me a lot and also hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon, like a top three video tutorials. I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately and I'm going to keep making them. So if you're all about tutorials, this is the channel for you. And um, there's also going to be some speed level designs. I haven't been making them for a while now and I'm getting bored because I actually want to make them. So I'm just going to find some free time, spend some time, spend a few hours on a level and then actually upload a video about it. So I just want to make sure that the quality is at least as good as my last uh, speed level design, if not improved. So I never want to step it down a little bit. So yeah, once again, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.